So I just wanted to make this video because I've been documenting my process of applying for my license and studying for the NCLEX and NCLEX test date and all that fun stuff. So I have some clips of um, each step of the way. So I'm just gonna show you guys that. Don't mind the shiny thing. It's my septum piercing. But okay, so the first step was to download the application. I'm, I applied to the Hawaii State Board of Nursing. So I looked up their application online. Um, our advisors gave us a little um, rundown on how to apply, so that was really nice. But yeah, I filled out the application. In order to submit, you need to get fingerprinting done. So I'll show you that clip. So I'm about to go into my appointment to go get my fingerprinting done for my license. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. I've got my mask on. All right, all right, I'm back. It was super quick. It took like two minutes. Oh, let me take this off. Yeah, it was super duper fast. And you just like roll your fingers and all that. After fingerprinting, I submitted my application for, or my, my transcript request. So I sent that to the school and then our advisor said that it takes about two to eight weeks for the school to send um, the transcripts to the board of nursing. So that was kind of freaky because that seemed like a lot of time. Um, yeah. So I did all that and then I submitted my application to the Board of Nursing on April 30th. Around that time, I also made my Pearson View account. I didn't pay the $200. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to pay it or not. Um, our advisors recommended that we didn't and we waited, so I just did that. So after I submitted my application, it was kind of a waiting game because like, they couldn't, the Board of Nursing couldn't do anything without our transcripts. So. The school told us that they would be submitting a letter to the Board of Nursing on May 22nd, kind of just saying we graduated and like this person is eligible to take it. So then we waited for that date. We graduated on May 16th. <laughs> graduated because like, you know, coronavirus. But um, May 22nd was the day that we were waiting for. Meanwhile, the next week was when we had our ATI three-day live review our school used ATI throughout the whole program so um, we did a three-day live review where they covered content and they did like practice questions and stuff it was pretty interesting I learned stuff mm. um, we also did a practice exam and it also gave you your probability of passing the NCLEX so on that I scored a 99% chance of passing which was super exciting because you know that's nice to hear but also I was like yeah I don't know I, I need to study for this exam so um, from that they gave us this paper that I'll show you guys so based on the proctored exam we could put together our personalized study plan um, it shows you where you've done your worst on or where you need some more help my lowest score was in mental health and um, leadership and management of care so that's kind of how i focused my review meanwhile the weeks in between may 22nd till i got my att were super frustrating because we had been hearing how we have no clue if the test center is going to open up when the test center is going to open up and then when we did find out that the test center opened up we heard that there was a backup of um, applicants who had had their, ta their who had had their tests canceled during the time that they had to close it so we had no clue when we were gonna able when we were gonna be able to take a test so my school is one of the last schools to graduate so you know we're competing for a slot at the test center amongst like the rest of the schools in Hawaii there's only one test center in Hawaii so that was super scary to like not know literally like one day i would talk to a friend who had a friend that already scheduled their exam who was able to see the test dates and was like everything in june and july are filling up it's like august now and i like my ideal plan was to take it in early june latest mid-june before we knew coronavirus is gonna happen um and then the next day another friend had talked to a friend who took it or who had scheduled her exam and they're like okay august is filled up it's september now and then the next day literally someone who 
so same situation they're like oh november now on june 4th i got an email from the board of nursing i was super excited i thought it was my att it said notice for eligibility for exam or something like that and then i went on the website paid my 200 dollars and i got the notification you are booked yeah. oh are you kidding me what are you kidding me it's not even my att yet so as you could see i was super bummed and really upset <laughs> And I didn't know when my ATT would come. And then I was just like, oh my goodness, by the time I get this thing, I'm gonna have to take it next year. So I seriously looked up test centers in California because my auntie lives there. Anyways, I ended up getting my ATT the next day. So it wasn't all that bad. Today I got my ATT. And so I'm scheduling. Today is June 5th. I scheduled my exam for June 24th. So that gives me about a little over two and a half weeks to study. Um, right now, I'm gonna do my U World. I've been doing U World for a couple weeks now, but I'm gonna take my first practice exam. I'm gonna wear a mask because that's what we have to do at the test center. And I need to get used to it. So, this should be fun. <laughs> finally done this is what I got so far let's see what else that was kind of a pain I hope I finish in 60 questions <laughs> that's very high really 67 okay if you say so oh <laughs> okay Fun. So now let's talk about how I study for the NCLEX now that I had my test date. Um, I created a study schedule. TikTok was amazing. They have amazing tips. So many different like nursing students post about how they studied. So I kind of was able to figure out how I wanted to do it based on different things that I saw. Since I scheduled my exam for June 24th, I had about two and a half weeks to study which I was freaking out about because I didn't know if it was enough time, but also I heard from many of my friends that two weeks was enough for them. And I was like, okay, I know I'm not the kind of person to study for a long term anyways, because I, f I feel like I would forget the information. So I wrote down the different subjects in my calendar. So before I got my ATT and right after the NCLEX um, ATI live review, I started to do mental health questions on New World, and I also did some leadership management ones that I didn't write down. And then um, on this day, I got my ATT, and that's when I kind of created my um, solid study schedule. So then we started with PEDS, and then adult health, fundamentals, farm, and OB. And then I take my second practice exam and then that was my NCLEX day. And then I also calculated how many questions I needed to do each day. Where was it? How many questions I need to do each day in order to um, complete all the questions by the time my test date was up. So I was using um, your nursing educators study guide, which is great. It's super concise. I loved it to just like, go off of in the beginning um i just use it as a little refresher until i did my year old questions so um based on her thing she said she suggested like two months was it two to three or one to two months around there and i knew i wasn't going to study that much and then her thing said to do about 30 questions a day which I knew I, I wanted to finish all the U World questions. So I knew I wasn't gonna get enough in that amount of time. So before I, before I got my ATT, I was doing about 30 questions a day. And then once I knew my test date, um, another girl who had re recently passed her NCLEX told me she was doing about 120 questions a day. And when I calculated that, that would mean I would finish in time. So that's what I did. Um, it was definitely a trial and error um, 
it was definitely a trial and error process figuring out how I wanted to study because at first I made my question bank about 60 questions each and I got burnt out I didn't want to finish them I needed breaks I'm really sleepy doing my questions inside of the house so I decided to come outside I'm currently working on my um, incorrect fundamentals question so then after that I figured out that like smaller sections like about 15 10 to 15 questions was easier for me and then I could get the 120 questions done um, it was obviously really hard I spent all day studying it's 11 30 and I'm still doing questions this is really how it goes because I am a night owl but I still have like 20 at least to 40 more questions I wanted to complete today but farm is hard ATI this lied to me I feel like I'm not doing as good my mom is doing something in the back there I'm not doing as good as I think I should be but I don't know usually I don't like to study at home but since we're at a state we have a stay-at-home order I had no other choice that's why I look busted in all these clips because I had I didn't have to leave my house wear the same shirt for a couple days it's fine so the way I use UWorld, I would break it into sections. I did I did it based off of the different sections I wanted to study for the day. And then from there, I broke it out even more down into the sections, the subsections. I'll show you a clip because that probably didn't make sense. But yeah, I figured that would help me focus my studying. And then anything that I didn't know or anything that I wanted to retain, I wrote down on my Google Doc. And I also made flashcards on New World. Hello. So we are officially one week away. Almost less than one week because it's almost midnight now. But that's a while. I finished all my farm questions today. So I finished one day earlier than I wanted to because I might be going to hang out. We'll go to the beach tomorrow. But um, I was just reviewing my little study guide. Um, I looked at the OB section just to get a head start. I've already done a lot of my OB questions. I just have, I think, antepartum and newborn to do on New World. But it's so close. So close. It's crazy. I <laughs> farm. Oh my goodness. I don't know why it said I did so on farm because that was hard. There's so many meds, so much to know about it, but I think I'll be okay. As long as everything stays in my brain. But yeah, I just need to review um OB or finish my questions for OB, finish up my leadership and management questions, and then I want to review mental health again because like I did that first and like I feel like I don't remember any of it. So, that's concerning. But yeah. It's Friday. I'm about to take my second practice assessment or second self-assessment, whatever it's called. And I'm going to practice with this again. Not looking forward to it because it's 100 questions, I think, if it's the same as the first one. But, yeah. We're how many days away? Five days away, I think. Something like that. Okay, so I'm two days away from NCLEX. It is Monday and it's on Wednesday. And we're gonna go do a test drive to the testing center so I know where to go on Wednesday. And I've recruited Keisha Lay. Okay, bye. Went to Ala Moana. It was a adventure and a half. <laughs> It wasn't that bad, but it was very confusing navigating these parking structures. So, good thing I'm practicing or else I would have gotten very flustered. Oh my God. So, now we're going to go into the building to figure out where the actual test site is. Alright. Doing Nurse Achieve, I saw a TikTok of this girl who got a free trial for 30 days of it. So, I only use it for the computer, the adaptive mock test, just so I can have an idea of what it's going to be like. And I just took my second one and it was ridiculous. It was so hard. So hard. Like, I don't know. But results are good. Look, 
my results. I got a solid pass this time, but it was such a hard test. It took me about like 45. I was sitting here for five minutes waiting to do stuff. But I don't know why it made me do it for so long. And then these, it shows you like how many of hard and you see it. Hard, medium, low. And then it gives you a um, the rationales. But it was really hard this time. So it is the day before NCLEX. And I'm spending it at the beach. Relaxing. Can you see it? It's almost sunset. We're leaving the Kishile. It was a good, nice, relaxing break. And tomorrow is the big day. It's at four. I'm gonna wake up at noon, get ready, and get going. So see you tomorrow.